everyone this is me again today I am making a lasagna dish I have um watched several videos of um making of how lasagnas are made and I have selected parts that I loved and I'm going to make my own um, version of lasagna lasagna although I have made, made several dishes of lasagnas in the past but um, I'm just going to um, do something different from the normal ones I've been making before in the past I don't use carrot I didn't use carrot I wanted to use two vegetables today carrot and mushroom but um, I didn't have the time today because I had a busy day to get um, mushroom from the market but I already had these carrots at home so I decided to use it. Now I've got my ingredients laid out for my tomato sauce. I'm going to make my tomato sauce from the scratch. But my white sauce, I've got the one in the jar. Again, it's one that I wanted to make fresh from the start myself. But because again, I didn't have the time to go to the market today, I couldn't get um, my um, cheese, cottage cheese, and um, the other ingredients for the white cheese. But luckily, I always have stock of um, jars of ingredients at home. So luckily, I still had three jars of creamy, creamy white sauce at home. So to make my tomato sauce, I've got my minced beef. This is about um, 700 grams in this bowl. I've got three tins of. I've got three four hundred three four hundred um, grams of chopped tomatoes. Sorry, three tins of four hundred grams of chopped tomatoes. I've got uh, a medium sized onions chopped in this bowl, and I've got four <laughs> medium carrots chopped in this bowl, and I've also got my tomato paste. I'm going to take um, some from this. This is a big jar, very large jar, bought from Costco. And um, when I open it, I put them in containers and store them in the freezer for when I need them. So I brought out this to use today. I've got my cheese, different selection of cheeses. I've got my grated cheddar cheese. I've got my grated mozzarella cheese. And finally, I've got my dried grated cheese, that is the um, Parmesan cheese. I have um, salt to taste. I've Hello. got bay leaves. I'm going to use a couple of that in my tomato sauce. And I've got uh, mixed herbs. I don't have Italian herbs, so, but I've got mixed herbs. I wanted to use parsley, but I don't know how parsley. But it's what I have at home, so I'm going to make do with, with what I have at home. And in addition to that, I'm going to use um, dry pepper, grounded dry pepper. And I've got that in here. Right. So those are the ingredients I'm going to use for my tomato sauce. And that's the that's the one for my um, white sauce, the Domio lasagna creamy. So and let's not forget I've got um, garlic as well. I have um, five cloves cloves of garlic chopped in this tablespoon that I'm going to use for my lasagna tomato sauce. Now to start with my sauce I have put a dash of um, sunflower oil into this large pan. I'm going to pour in my onions, chopped onions. Allow it to saute for a couple of um, about one minute, and now I'm gonna add my chopped five cloves of garlic. And I'm not again to saute for about one to two minutes. I'm 
And that is my um, 700 grams of um, minced beef. I've already added, um, I've already seasoned this minced beef. I added some salt, um, chicken stock powder, and uh, a bit of um, mixed herb and pepper. So I've already added it onto this minced beef and mixed it together at the now. So I'm going to add this minced beef now into my sauteed um, onions and garlic and brown it until it's brown. That's my tomato sauce now browning up. I'm going to leave again, leave for some time to brown some more. I'm oh, sorry, my minced beef browning up. And I have placed in another pot hot water, which is boiling. Which in this I'm going to add salt, and then add in my lasagna noodles. I'm going to leave it in the hot water to boil for about five minutes before taking it out and rinsing it, ready for when I need it. I'm going to rinse it with cold water. My lasagna noodles go in it. I've been in there for about five minutes. I'm going to take it out, rinse it in cold water, and leave it for when I need it. My minced beef is all browned up. Now I'm going to add my carrots, my chopped carrots. Now I'm to add um, my tomato, chopped tomatoes. And then add my tomato puree or paste. And stir until the whole um, mixture is properly incorporated. I'm going to season this with um, some more mixed herb. couple of bay leaves, about two teaspoonful of um, chicken stock seasoning, some more grounded dried pepper, That's my tomato sauce, which I've been cooking or simmering now for about 40-45 minutes. I'm going to turn up the heat. And I believe it's done. I'm ready to be assembled with the other ingredients in my bowl. Mmm, it tastes yummy. That's my lasagna noodles. It's already been boiled and rinsed in cold water so it's ready again to be assembled I've got my lasagna dish I'm not sure what the size is I'm very terrible when it comes to maths and so I'm not very good at measurement I think it's the medium size that's what I'm going to use to make my lasagna tonight I put my white salt into a bowl for easy um, assembly. So I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna start with the assembly of my ingredients. I'm gonna start first with the tomato sauce at the base to line the base of the dish with. Make sure that um, every part of the dish is covered up with the sauce. And then next is my lasagna noodles. So 
the app. Oops. I'm using one hand to hold a phone. I'm going to make sure that it is overlapped against each other. Chloe. Yes, Daddy. Oh yeah, everybody go to bed. Miss, my friend, it's almost midnight. Twelve. What's the bread? Are you going to eat lasagna tonight? Lasagna. Now it's to spread white sauce and sure that it covers the whole lasagna. All right. Sprinkle some cheese over it. That's the cheddar, and this is. And I'm going to sprinkle the mozzarella cheese now. Time for another layer of um, tomato sauce. And then the lasagna noodles again and continue with that process until your whole bowl is full to that level. Now I've filled up all the um assembled all the ingredients all the um lasagna noodles now. I think I've now filled my dish to the bill room because I didn't want to waste anything. Anyways, um that's the last um final assembly so I'm going to now top it up with more cheese the three cheeses and that's my cheddar cheese on top going on top of it and mozzarella cheese this is a really large portion of lasagna it's probably gonna serve about 12 people I've got fridge I've got children I love food and a husband I love food as well so top it up with my parmesan dry cheese and there you go I'm gonna cover this up I'm putting it for the for Cover it up with a tin foil and put it in the oven for about 30 minutes to start with and then remove, remove the tin foil and then leave again for another 30 minutes and then my lasagna will be done. I've already preheated my oven so I'm going to set it till about um, 160 degrees centigrade or 150 and let it cook. See when it's done. My lasagna after being taken out of the oven. Um, it was I actually left it in the oven for about 45 minutes. So I'm gonna put it back in for about 10 to 15 minutes with the thing for removed. That's my lasagna all done and ready to um chill um to cool i'm going to leave it for i'm going to like leave it to cool you can't eat it like this as hot as it is it has to be cooled i'll show you when i cut out <laughs> 